Welcome to the Perkins Casa. As you guys know, we are self-quarantining here up in this household, and hopefully in your household too. What more of a perfect time to work on Perkins Produce and it looks bad out there. We still have the last harvest leftovers, so we are going to work on planting new veggies, new fruits today, so that Perkins Produce can thrive this year. So we're gonna show you guys everything that we do. I consider us beginner gardeners. You know, we're still learning, There's still a lot we don't know. All the cups will be outside with us, I'm sure getting muddy. Huh, let's do it, let's do it. You're about to see our garden, it looks like shit right now, okay? It hasn't been taken care of, we've been out of town, and we have shit everywhere. So step one is we're gonna clean everything up. This was a strawberry pot, nothing came of this. Died. This is just random shit that's like piling up everywhere. Look at this, no trellis. We're gonna pull all of these out, we're gonna find a new home for some peas, we're gonna plant those. We're gonna trim these back, cause they're completely overgrown, so we're gonna save some of it. We're gonna pull out these tomato plants. I know. We're gonna pull out these pepper plants that died because of the frost, and we're gonna replant all of it. You ready? I'm gonna hit this with a time lapse. We're cleaning up. I would give up all my money. I would trade all of my gold. Are you serious? Honestly, he's helping me. Look at he took all these weeds out. Wow, Charlie. Thank you for that. Look at his face. Dude, I just gave him a bath though. And a blowout. Look at his paws. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he loves being outside though. <laughs> Look, he's digging. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Charlie. Seriously? I'm dying. Well. Oh, he's gonna need another bath. I just chopped all this rosemary off. It survived the frost, but it's a little yellow, but it smells. So good. Sun's coming out. Boxes are pretty much clean. We pulled everything out. We want to like aerate the soil a little bit and we're going to put some fertilizer in there. So if you're starting fresh with your own garden, make sure you have good soil, good fertilizer, and just rake it up like Yo Gotti says. <laughs> These are husky cherry tomatoes. Ooh, I love me a good husky cherry tomato. So we're probably just gonna keep this in the same spot, right? It was yeah. thriving here. And look at these little babies. Let's just take this whole tray over. All right. So here we have Better Boy tomatoes. These are bigger, right? These are bigger tomatoes, yes. This is what pepper, kind of pepper? poblano. We'll put those on the other put side. these with my other peppers. Ooh, this Ooh, is the hot yes, Thai peppers. That is what I like right there. We'll find a new home for those. Cucumber, so this we That's really- That's gonna take over a whole box. We need a huge trellis for cucumbers. So we also have zucchini, and zucchini is also pretty large and in charge. Invasive, they grow fast. They grow fast. Does zucchini and cucumber grow well with like next to peppers, or what do they grow they're, well I next think they're to? far enough away from the peppers. It's hard because we don't really know everything, but I know that when you grow certain plants next to certain plants, they thrive more. Gardening for us too, it's a lot of trial and error and a lot of Google searching. Yeah, because we're not experts. We're not there. experts. Um, the good thing about plants is they grow pretty fast and it's fun to see what uh, what grows with what, but then also Google is your best friend. We're gonna put in three of these. You doing your research? Uh, yeah. Yellow neck squash. Mm -hmm. the, I, this is my favorite. I love it. Mix it with the onions and salt tail. Mm. This is where we tried to grow lettuce. Didn't really work. Uh, it's in the ground, but I just picked something up. We got these trellises. I'm gonna do cucumbers up the trellis. Hopefully, in like six weeks, we can do like an update and they're like pfft, six feet tall. We'll find out. And then I got these little white gates. Let's go right in front. These gates are a little bit too long, so I gotta handsaw a little bit of it off, and then it'll fit just like that one. Yeah. So what do you think? <gasps> so cute. You look at the little fence. I, I made it. I cut it to size too. So oh, it fits. Wow. You did all of this wow. already? I did. So nice. It looks incredible. I'm so excited. So we've enlisted the help of mom. Mom's here. We got Desi on deck. We're going to show you guys, if you're wanting to start your own garden, what we know about gardening. And Steven's actually going to show you with our tomato plant. So we got a large one because we needed to produce immediately. Okay. We're in the middle of a crisis. I need production. 
If you buy this just like that, you can actually just let it grow in that pot and it'll be fine. But uh, we're gonna put them in the beds. And also, if you are thinking about starting your own garden, you don't need a huge space. They actually have a lot of cool planters that you can plant upwards and you can put a bunch of herbs and things like that in there. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this. Steven, show them, show them what you got. Before I plant, I wanna make sure that I'm putting the right plant in the right area. Cause once it's in the ground, it's a lot harder to take it out. The irrigation system stops right here. So if, as long as I move them here and here, we're gonna be fine. Cause I look at the soil and the soil is really moist. All right, if, if my tomatoes die on that spot, <laughs> then we're gonna come back to this clip on me. and talk. All right, so first I'm gonna clear out a spot that's as big as that pot. And how deep are you going? How deep are you going? <laughs> it totally <laughs> Sorry, depends Mom. on- You didn't hear that. These ones are a bigger pot, so I'm gonna wanna go a little bit deeper. And I think that might be good enough because when I pull this out, a lot of the dirt's gonna come off, so. That's but, nice that it comes in that pot with or it's already trellised it's already and everything. It's ready to go, yeah. So I have a cage. This is like a cage for the tomato. It's just to help maintain it, like its shape so it doesn't overgrow in the whole place and I can grow it upwards a little bit. And I'm gonna put the cage in first. If I put it in after, I could risk hitting the roots of the tomato plant and then that would damage the plant and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna push the cage down and in. Here's what if you're planting the smaller one? Would you do the same thing? Um, this one's tiny. Yeah, I could I could stake this one instead, but you always wanna put in your stake or your cage before you put the plant in because you don't wanna damage the roots. Mom, will you assist Steban? Okay, mm -hmm. so it's loose now, but before I put this guy in the hole, I wanna put some fertilizer in there. So fertilizer? That, fertilizer, so that it grows a little bit better. We use chicken manure. So. Is there a reason you picked chicken? There's chicken or cow manure. <laughs> you pick which one. They both smell the same, so. I picked this one because your dad picked chicken manure last time, so we're going with that. I'm gonna get a good two handfuls. Ooh, smells ripe. Sprinkle that in there, mix it up. And I'm gonna loosen the dirt around so then that way it gives the roots some easy places to grow. And once all that's there, I'll pull it to the side. And now this is loose, so we can just pick this guy up and out. And you squeezed him all up, so it's already loose, right? Yeah, so he's loose, so his roots are gonna grow, he's gonna be happy. I'm gonna try and set that all the way down. Okay. Sometimes when you plant something new, it can go into shock because it's in a new environment, but usually it does pretty well Ooh. after its first few days. I'm gonna push the dirt around it. And then after you plant it, you're gonna wanna soak it all the way because you're gonna wanna try and get rid of all the air bubbles around it. And you want all that dirt to fall so into it. place. So you water it, you all kind of overwater it the first time you plant it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna plant is gonna be the small tomato plant and you wanna put around six inches in between. I'm gonna do a little bit more than six inches six because this is a big plant. So I, want, I don't want them to grow into each other. You want the leaves not really so to how, be touching. So how, would, how many inches would you say? I'm probably gonna do about 12 inches, which is about a foot, which is right about there. Okay, but just rule of thumb, six to eight-ish, depending on the type of plant. Ooh, he looks happy. All right, let's do this. I'm planting some shis... You got it, baby. Shisito. Shisito. Everyone makes Shisito. fun of the you way I it. say it. Come on, you got it. Shis... Shishido. 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 Sometimes I say Shiseido like the makeup company. <laughs> I get Shishito. that. Shishito. I'm doing a tomato, better boy. And I'm doing the zucchini. Tell me, do you feel the same? You take a plant out of the planter, make sure you give it a good squeeze to break up the soil so that when you put it in, the roots grow easier, easier into your garden bed. Okay, I just planted a hot pepper. It's a red one, very spicy for the southwest. And my next one is the uh, pepper poblano. And the last thing we're gonna plant are the, I forget what everything's called. Cucumbers. Cucumbers on the trellis. So this is the first time we've done this, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try and grow them vertically. Look at this. It's a sign of healthy soil though. Nice little earthworm. My hole's dug, and since I said it was ground soil, I'm gonna put in some uh, potting soil and then mix it with some manure. Pull in, 
One other pro tip right here is always take the little tag that comes with the thing and put it next to the plants. You'll forget. Because you will forget. I put this one in the middle because we ended up planting three zucchinis. One, two, three. These will probably get super overgrown, but I just want to see what they're going to do first. We also planted our Thai peppers here, our poblano peppers here. Where's Desi? What are these? Shishito peppers. Okay, <laughs> shishito peppers. These are from last season. These are our serranos and jalapenos. They look really bad right now. I'm hoping that they grow back. And then we have one tomato, two tomato, three tomato. And then we have this from last season. This is our, what do we got here? See, oregano. And we have our parsley. And this is thyme that I just cut back, but it will grow back. And lastly, we have our basil. So I think the only last thing is for the tomatoes. I probably will go in here and then prune all of this extra growth because a lot of times when they're at the nursery, they don't take care of them as much. And each of these little suckers right in here, they will grow to a whole nother plant if you let them shoot out and the bush gets really wild. So just go right in here, pinch it, pull it off. All right, and then the last step, once you plant everything, like we said, we just want to soak everything with water. And we're going to over water for this first time because we want to get all of the air out from what we just planted. All right, and we can't forget our apricot tree. And check this out, we already have our first uh, fruit that is so coming many. in. We got our lime tree over there thriving. Our apple tree is also blossoming and we do have little do fruit. Have and Desi thinks that she needs to beat this guy with a stick again. You What's scare that? me. Mom, don't they say you have to beat the tree to wake it up? Mm -hmm. Let me beat you too. You did it to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and last year I said, produce. Produce. <laughs> the next day, it was like, I'm awake, bitch, I'm up, I'm up. Just giving it a little pow pow right now. <laughs> and if it doesn't act right, I'm gonna give a big pow pow. This is what you do. On quarantine? Yes, when you're on lockdown. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you learned some tidbits here and there. We'll keep some updates coming. Watch Desi's stories on Instagram. I'll I'm do some updates. I'm constantly updating on stories. We'll update you guys on the growth there for What's sure. What's your at tag on Instagram? Is it Desi, at Desi Perkins. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> bye guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. If you like gardening videos. Okay, bye. Ow, ow. Really doing it right there? Yep. Right there. Right there, right in front of our set. Calmate! This kid, man. This is the worst intro ever. We can, you have so uh, much mud on your face. Right. This is what it's like having a new puppy here, okay? It's like having a little toddler running around, just always wanting to play.